Well, Dr. Victor, thank you so much for spending time with me today and with our audience this well, thank week. Thank you. We're gonna... It's so helpful, you know, and I think we've learned some really important things. I think one of the most important things we've learned is to try to avoid sun damage. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we talked about sunscreen a little bit. And I, I, for me personally, would like to find out, like, this daily care what you think is important. So sometimes I have on my sunscreen and I have on my makeup and then I have on my setting spray and then I put more sunscreen on through the day. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I'd like to talk about what you recommend for a cleanser to get all of those things off of my face, but not dry out my face because I tend to have very dry skin. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to dry out my face. I don't want to rub it. I don't want to um, just really be abrasive with my skin. I want to be very gentle with my skin, mm -hmm. but I have a hard time finding the right cleanser to get everything off. So what can you recommend to remove all of this stuff without drying out our all skin? Right. Well, the first things uh, first, right? You need to see uh, the quality of the oil or the type of skin that you have. If it's dry, if it's uh, greasy, or maybe it's a mix of uh, both of them, we need to assess that. And then we're gonna talk about what's the best cleanser for you, right? If you're gonna use uh, makeup, the best recommendation if you use uh, makeup daily is to use um, oil-based basic cleanser. But if you have an oily skin, then it's not that recommendation. Okay. So the best way to know if you're using the right cleanser, um, it's uh, if you don't over dry your skin. Because I don't know if it happened to you, but sometimes when you use a cleanser, then you feel your skin very stretched, very dry. Yes. And that's not a good thing because no. then your skin is going to try to produce more oils and then it's going to start to clog the pores and then you're going to have some acne. I didn't even think of that. So it has the reverse effect. It makes yeah. you more oily. Exactly. You yeah. So okay. you need to be very careful. If you use makeup, what we, what I recommend is to do a double cleanse, okay. right? Uh, removing makeup with maybe a micellar water or a, maybe some balm that's going to help you as well. And then a, a gentle cleanser. Okay. If you have rosacea, there's a specific one for your type of skin. If you have a dry skin. So we need to assess that. Um, my best recommendation, as I said, is to use what it's going to suit your skin, but something that you need to take care of is don't over dry your skin. It's okay. very, very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. That's the thing about the cleansers. Yeah, okay, great. So let's talk about what we need to do in the morning, what products we need to be using every single morning, Okay. whether we wear makeup or not, like what do you need to do, basic skin care, mm -hmm. and then after that we'll talk about the evening, but let's start first during the, day. About during the day what you should use every day you know it's a it's a funny question because every time I talk I start to speak about the skincare routine all of the people or most of my patients are like oh no I don't have time for this I don't really have uh, that patience to apply all of them and then wait and yeah. you know what we do here is to keep it very very simple and then we're gonna give to your skin what it needs mm -hmm. that's something that it's a new uh, trend that is called skin minimalism so it's going to give your skin only what it needs. Not like the Korean and all of that, you know, routine that's going to take you 30 minutes. Right. It's more about what you need in this moment, right? So uh, we're thinking about only four steps in the morning. Okay. Cleansing, okay. then serum, then hydration, and sunscreen. That's the basic thing that you need. Wow. And okay. then you can apply uh, one after the other. I promise you it's not going to take more than two minutes in the morning, two minutes in the night to do a very regular and complete skincare routine. Okay. Now, serums, um, about the serums, it's the second step, right? You're gonna cleanse your skin, right. you're gonna dry, and then you're gonna apply the serum. Serum is a medication for your skin. After the age of 25, you need to try to adapt uh, what your skin needs. If you have uh, open pores or some pigmentation, niacinamide, you need to look for. If you have only dehydration, hyaluronic acid. If you have pigmentation, vitamin C. And all of them are antioxidants for your skin. So as a medication, it's going to help you to prevent some damage. And then sometimes, you know, we are also have stress and things that we eat when we don't sleep. We need that extra protection for your skin. So that's when you need some serums. Now, after the age of 35, maybe I recommend some peptide that is going to start to stimulate your skin. 
and then your skin is gonna look glowy, and then your pores are gonna be. That's gross. my age, thirty-five. Thirty-five, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought you were like thirty, but okay. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry, that's not. Peptides are an incredible option for thirty-five after. Um, that's what I recommend the most because that's part of the regenerative medicine that I was talking about. And it's not really going to help you to reverse that sun damage. We have other treatments for that, but it's going to help to maintain your skin. Then the third step is the moisturizer. Hydration is very, very important. Even if you have an oily skin, you need to apply a moisturizer. And it needs to be one that is going to help your skin. Maybe it can be a gel or a cream. You know, it doesn't really matter, but we need to make sure that your skin keeps uh, moisturized during the whole day. And um, talking about this, well, it's going to help you as well to um, maintain an, a second layer of protection of your skin. And then you're going to close with the sun, uh, the sunscreen. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Great. And then at night, we take everything off, we do the cleansing. What do we put on at night? Same thing or different? Well, things? we keep it simple. Uh, what I do uh, tell to my patients, repeat one, two, three. Cleansing, serum, and hydration. That's like the most uh, important thing. Yeah. If you want to add an eye cream or maybe other serum or a uh, rose, mm -hmm. rose water, mm -hmm. um, you can do it, but let's keep it simple. So just keeping it simple. Yeah, that's the key. Yeah, that's great. Exactly. Well, you know, we talked earlier this week about how there's so many pharmacies, so much sunscreen. How do we find good skincare products in Mexico? Uh, well, in Mexico, there's some cities that you can find a good uh, skincare products. Okay, uh, not Cabo. Not Cabo, <laughs> yeah. Here, it's, sadly, we don't have too many options. So, but sometimes I need to ask my patients to go on, go online, maybe Amazon, Mercado mm -hmm. Libre, what we have here. But also, we do have some products here that are gonna be specific for your skin. I mean, we're gonna give you the recommendation. If you don't live here or you live around and you're um, not capable to come here to Abbey Clinic, then uh, we can give you recommendations. Maybe uh, Amazon, yeah, you can have really good deals, or uh, sometimes Mercado Libre. But uh, if you ask me, well, it always depends on the type of skin, right? right? right. So uh, another thing is that you're gonna find a lot of advertising about the cream that is gonna get rid of yeah. all of your wrinkles or the magical serum. There's no uh, such thing, right. right? There's not a single cream that is gonna remove the wrinkles. What it's gonna do the skincare is to maintain what you have now, you know? A beautiful skin, healthy skin, and it's not gonna make it worse this yeah. fast. Just to slow it down a little bit. Exactly, that's the main, uh, uh, you know, reason of a skincare routine. And also, if you're gonna do some treatments as we um, talked uh, the other days, well, it's gonna help you to last longer. And if you combine it to maybe other treatments like BBL, broken light, reverse some of that sun damage, hydrofacial, botox, or anything else that is gonna help your skin, combine it with a skincare routine, you're gonna have the best uh, results. That is so awesome. So I guess the bottom line is make an appointment. Yeah, yeah. If you live here in Cabo or live in other countries, because we have a, because we have a lot of people that come from yeah. other countries, uh, come and see us. Yeah, make an appointment. Come see Dr. Victor and Anna Maria, and you'll be well taken care of. And you'll probably run into me here because I'm here all the time. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. We're gonna hire you too. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So thanks so much for watching this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next.